Hello. Um, I don't know if you're new to GIMP. If you are, um, if they haven't changed it, when you first open GIMP, you're going to have a single screen like this. Not many options. Setting up your workspace is really important. Click on the Windows tab right there and select your toolbox. This toolbox is invaluable. You, you've, it's a must-have. <laughs> you, you've got to have it. Now, notice it's a free float. It can float wherever it wants, but I don't like this mode. I want single window mode so that everything can be docked in one window. That way I don't have to go looking for it. So I've got my toolbox open over here, and it docked itself on the side that I wanted it to because I opened it first before I went to single mode. That probably isn't all that important. Click on Windows again. <laughs> go to Dockable Dialogs and select your tool options. Now the tool options, I like it on this side over here. These are going to be important when you're using your brush and eraser or whatever you happen to be doing. This is where you control your size, your force, your dynamics, all of that. Um, go to Windows again, Dockable Dialogs, and select Layers. You will be keeping track of your layers and how many you've got, what layer you're working on. You're going to find this invaluable. Um, I, I absolutely love working with layers now. Go to Windows, Dockable Dialogs. And I usually have my brushes out. Those are important to me because I like to see them. When you open your brushes, there's a little tiny arrow right up here. If you drop that down and go to preview size, you can set the brushes to any size that suits you. I like the extra large. Gigantic is really, really large. Um, it, in fact, it takes up one, one row per picture. It's just crazy big. <laughs> um, windows again. And dockable dialogues. Let's see, I have my brushes and my layers. I'm going to be working with patterns, and I often play with my gradients, so I'm going to have my patterns out. I'm going to go to Windows, Dockable Dialogs, and I'm going to pull my gradients out. Now, if, if by chance you accidentally pull anything out of here, say you're in your, your tool options and you're trying to set your size, and somehow you accidentally do something like that, and it won't go back. You have to close it. Remember, just Windows, Dockable Dialogs. Voila. <laughs> and you can control that. However, there is, if you click on that little tiny arrow again, the one that sets your size, you can lock the tab to the dock so that you can't accidentally pull it out. That might be suited for, for you guys. I don't know. I know it, I need it because I'm constantly pulling the thing out. I mean constantly. <laughs> Okay, there's one more thing I need here. Windows, Dockable Dialogs. Mm -hmm. Trying to, ah, Tool Presets, there it is. Now this is important. I like the Tool Presets myself. You, you Notice you have a lot of brushes here that do a lot of cool stuff. You have the grass brushes, you have the, uh, the, the leaf brushes are really neat. Ah, I guess I need to click on... Oh, I need to open something. Okay. Um, really neat stuff. Uh, it's not what I was hoping to see. <laughs> okay. Um, maybe if I just... Um, ah, there we go. It was the setting I had it on. Okay, um, it's it, this is what I do. I put it on a soft oil brush. And the reason I use the soft oil brush is so that when I go to my brushes and I pull something out that's colored, in color, living color, it stays that way. And that's why all of my brushes are so vibrant. Um, I've made my own brushes, and I absolutely love being able to paint with them in color instead of the black and white silhouette type things. 
I think they call these animated brushes. Not that they're animated, but they are in color, so I don't know. But I see the word animated brushes a lot, and this is what I would notice. <laughs> there we go. Okay, um, one more thing. Real important stuff here for, for your sanity, especially. Go to Edit and go to Preferences down at the bottom. Excellent. We want to go to our toolbox and make sure that everything has the eye on. This is turning it off. That's making sure it's on. Make sure everything is X. You want everything on. Um, notice I only have one Giggle operation. That'll come in a future tutorial. And there you go. Just make sure all of that is done. You can go up here to your tool options and make sure everything is what, what you want and where you want. And you can click the save tool options now and that'll save everything that you just did. Also, the default imaging. I like to make sure that mine has a transparent background and I don't load anything over 1000 by 1000 pixels because if you use the GIMP fractal flame generator, anything over a thousand pixels, you're a hit and miss at 50% whether or not you're going to get to have that flame and render it properly. So this ensures that every flame I try to render actually renders. And there you go. Make sure you're on color and not grayscale and just say okay. So that's what I'm set up to. Anytime I load a, a new uh, canvas, it's a set size with a set transparency and I'm good to go. You might need to turn GIMP off and reload it after you set the uh, the preferences for your canvas settings, but that's about all. Okay, there's your workstation. That's getting to know GIMP. I'm going to start the tutorial now for bucket fill painting. <laughs> Catch you.